staying overexposed because so many people are saying, don't ever touch it, let the money roll, you know, you'll come out of it. Not a true statement when you're taking distributions. That's right. That's why I said the rules change when you get into retirement. It's not, when you're in your accumulation phase, that sequence of return isn't nearly as critical. Now, it can be critical in that last four or five years of your retirement. Our average client, what do you think? Just call it 60, 62 years old? Yeah. We have these conversations and it's, I'm not taking a mortgage, I'm not taking a mortgage. And I sit and I think about it. You know, when they were in their family formation years, maybe their early 20s, they were taking out mortgages, okay? And rates were substantially higher. And I've had these conversations with folks and they say, Logan, I remember my first interest, my first mortgage was 12%. I never want to be in that situation again. And then, you know, a counter argument to that, which is, in my opinion, a horrible counter argument is, well, it's all relative because cash and CDs were paying 7 or 8% at the time. Uh, making up these numbers, they didn't have any money to invest though, Dean. Right. And now it's on that flip side of, wow, I wish when my mortgage was 12% and CDs were paying eight and I have this money now. And that's why from a psychological standpoint, it's so hard for them. Private equity, okay, and, and it is just the investment in private companies. Um, and, and, and that is really no different than investing into a public company, except a public company is listed on a stock exchange. It has a ticker symbol and you can invest in it that way. But many of the um, uh, private companies that you can invest in, uh, they are generally invested in by um, a big fund and you get access to that fund. But many of the names, for example, of private equity firms, um, uh, Cole Hahn, uh, Hagen Dawes, uh, Toberlone, uh, Chocolates. Uh, th these are all private companies. When you start retirement, when that date is there, it's not your fault what happens in terms of the sequence of returns that happens after that. That's going to be market activity. Well, I think it's your parents' fault. <laughs> well, you You would. had no control over the day that you were conceived. You have no control over the year that you were born. And the year that you were born is going to dictate the year that you're going to turn 60 or 65 or whatever that retirement date is. You had no control right. over that. It was all your parents' fault. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> all right. If that's the way you want I'm to having see. fun with it now. <laughs> but the point is, and this is a concern of most new retirees, is what's my first year going to be like? Yes. And, and the biggest worry that you have is what if a bear market starts at the time that I'm starting to take distributions. Starting your route to retirement.